Hello everyone and welcome to another video here on the Second Day Gaming channel. If you're new, why not subscribe to stay tuned with all the videos here. But uh, anyway, in today's video, we're going to look at the man of the moment in the 2022 season, Binyam Gumai, and we're going to do another one of our career simulations starting off in 2023. Obviously, he's finished his 2022 season. And yeah, why not check out the interview I did with the man himself over on the Cycling Dane channel. But nevertheless, we're going to dive into this. We've done one with Primus Roglic. So why not with the Eritrean sensation himself, Binyam Gamay? So we start at the end of 2023. You can see he's 23 years old here. And uh, yeah, we open up his season here and we can see that he actually started in UAE. Three victories, 55 race days. He started his season in the UAE Tour, didn't win anything there. His victories, where did they come from? He got a victory in the Tour de France in stage two. And yeah, Giorgio Emilia, nothing to write home about. Parry Tours, not really. And we can see that he's bit, got a bit of growth as well. He wore the yellow jersey for one day as well so that was a big sensation here in his first season you know thing he won a stage in the world tour catalonia and won a stage in the tour of the Basque country and was second in the eritrean national championships so not really a bad season in some respects but no major classic success third in the belgian tour you can see there and uh, getting the young rider classification but yeah second in the trobo leon fifth in the Brussels Cyclone Classic, but not anything in the big Cyclone Classics. Moving on to the next season, 2024. He's 24 years old here, obviously. Still with Intermarché one to Group Robert and uh, has his contract there to 2026, as we can see there. But anyway, moving towards his year, and we can see here 52 race days, so three days less, but six victories this time. Starting in the Walter Algarve, got second place on stage three. Milan San Remo, seventh, not bad that. He won the first stage in the World Tour Catalonia and the sixth stage as well. So two of his victories coming there. Fourth in the points classification. Ronde van Vlaanderen, not really anything to write home about. Skill Prix, nothing. Paro Bay, nothing. Yeah, the classics, not really a great season. But nevertheless, Tour de Suisse taking the final stage. So that's a good result from him. Third on stage four as well. So yeah, uh, pretty good. Pretty good uh, Tour de Suisse. But um, yeah, double national champion there, winning the road and the time trial title, which is really good for him. Winning on the Mur de Bretagne as well in the Tour de France, taking that stage win. So another year, another stage victory for Binium. And uh, yeah, great results for him here. One stage win in the Tour. Not bad. Third in the Bretagne Classic, and that's how he finishes his season. So only one Grand Tour and not much to write home about in the... Monument, but getting better at sprinting, better at stage racing as well. And then we just see the the recap there. Um, One stage win, seventh in Milan San Remo was his best monument result. But moving on to 2025, 25 years old. And uh, yeah, starting in the Santos Tour Donanda, seventh overall, fifth in the points. But in the UAE Tour, seventh, sixth, only one stage victory in this year, 66 days. So not great. Skeletri second place. That's not a bad result, to say the least. And uh, Paru Bay, 32nd. Flesh for Loan, 12th. And 31st in Liege, Boston Liege. So he's here, there, and everywhere, doing all kinds of races still in the classics. He Okay, there's his victory. He won the road race championships for Eritrea. So he's going to be the road race champion once again. But in the criteria of Dauphiné, nothing. Tour de France, 6th overall in the points classification, so he actually improves on that. And, yeah, what can we see here? Fourth in the in Liège, third in on stage 14 as well. A few results to pick out there. And we look at his development, he really has developed as a rider. He actually wore the yellow jersey for one day here, so that's a big result for him. And, uh, yeah, but other than that, not great victories. Road race champion again, but that was about it in terms of victories. Moving on to 2026, 26 years old. Obviously, he's extended his contract one year with Intermarché one to Bear, starting in Etoile de Versailles, finishing second on stage two, taking second in the points classification in the Tour de Alpes Maritaine. He managed to take the opening victory, also getting the points classification. So that's a good result for him. In Trena Adriatico, nothing really. And in the classics preceding that, 
nothing. But second in Milan San Remo, I think that is a huge result. Fourth in Ronde van Vlaanderen, its second was to Arno de Lee, and Olaf Koy was in third place. So that is not too bad. But what were we talking about? Um, Paro Bay, eighth overall. But in Ronde van Vlaanderen, Kasper Eskain won it in front of Dylan Turns and Gianni Muscon. But Liege, Bastion Liege, 35th. And the Antwerp Classic, 14th. And in the criteria, he also went to the criterium de Neufne rather than the Tour de Suisse and managed to get two second places and finished third in the points classification. So not a bad result. I should have said four victories as well overall this season. But uh, yeah, two victories in the road championships uh, or in the national championships, winning on the road and winning on the time trial again. So another double for the second time in his career. But he went to the Tour de France yet again, third in the points classification and a second on stage five there. First on stage, yeah, actually winning on stage 15. So not a bad result there. But in the Benelux Tour, managed to get third in the points classification, third on the opening stage, third on stage three as well, fourth on the stage five. Paris Tour, Second, won by Caleb Ewan, but uh, yeah, almost winning that. So not not bad. Improving as a classics rider overall. And then we can just see it. Great season there. Stage win and podium in a monument. Fourth in another monument and Paro Bay eighth. So really a season where he's stepped it up here. 26 years old. And I think the next coming seasons are going to be very interesting. 2027, this is normally when we see the riders peak, 27 to 30. But uh, starting out the UAE Tour, third place on stage seven. And the trainer at Dratico, not really anything. Sixth on stage three. Milan San Remo, he finished third. So another podium spot in Milan San Remo. Scaled Priest, fifth. And yeah, the Giro d'Italia, he went to the Giro and look. Someone just won the points classification. Ooh, that's interesting. In 2027, winning the points classification of his first Grand Tour. We know he probably would have done it in 2022, but let's not ponder too much about that. But stage three, winning that. Stage seven into Piscara, winning that as well. Actually, the stage where he won his first uh, Giro d'Italia started from Piscara. How do I know that? I was there. But he also won on stage 9 here and on stage 13. Really take a huge haul here. Then following that up by winning the national doubles again, he went to Tour de France. Third in the points classification, highest so far. Um, fifth on the third stage. Uh, second as well there on a stage. So not a stage win, but definitely a good outing there following... Uh, the Giro d'Italia, two Grand Tours. I think that's the first we've seen him do two Grand Tours and two second places there in some one-day races as well afterwards. But seven stage victories, not bad in 76 days. He's also racing a bit more, we can see here. But in terms of evolution, so yeah, that's what we're saying. He's starting to peak now. This is his top spot. Just seeing there, well, four podiums in, in the in the Tour de France, and five stage victories in the Giro. That is really a highlight there. What a season this has been. And uh, winning the points classification. 2028, this is our next season. We can see he's extended his year. Improvements overall in all his skills there. But uh, staying with Inter Moshe until 2029. And uh, yeah, 28 years old. This should be one hell of a season, if we're not kidding ourselves here. But let's see. Welta Algarve taking a stage win on stage four, second in the points classification. Nowhere in Paro Bay, unfortunately. Nowhere in Flash Follow. Nowhere in Liege, Bastion Liege. Not going to Milan San Remo. He was actually injured. But uh, yeah, second in the points classification in uh, Criterium de Nofne, finishing second in the sixth stage, starting in Grenoble and uh, double their win. But there we go, winning the Mountains jersey of the Tour de France. Bit unusual. That is a bit unusual. But uh, yeah, Biniam Gamay, Polkadot jersey winner in the Tour de France. Yeah, we know he won the points classification the season before in the Giro. But yeah, where is this coming from? Fifth on stage nine, third on stage seven. And uh, that's how he decided to finish his career. Uh, not his career, his season. He's 
definitely not finished by an injury there, just hampering his season a bit. We saw Jean Lambert was a sprinter, and then he went to become a polka dot jersey. But yeah, best climate classification goes to Binium Gumai. And I didn't think we were going to see that, to be honest. Uh, yeah, just a summation of the results. 7th and 14th podium spots and that win in the World Tile Gab. 2029. And he's extended one more year with Inter Poche 1 to Krugerbeer. Starting his season here in the Omelut Hez Newsblad, 49th. And in Paris Nice, taking a stage victory on stage 4. So that was a good result for him. Third in the points classification. So we're back to some sort of reality here. Uh, 11th in Abstel Gold. Second in the uh, Brussels Cycling Classic. And a number of top six, top uh, five. Brussels Cycling Classic won by Arne Dilly. Seems to be one of his sprinting rivals here in his career. Here. The young Belgian youngster who's definitely going to be featuring on this channel. But yeah, third for the yeah, Trayan National Road Championships. No, uh, Time Trial Championships. But in the Belgian Tour, winning as two stages. So that's not bad. Second in the points classification as well. Six stages overall. And here we go. Tour de France. Did we just see that? Yeah, okay, he didn't win the Nationals, we know, in the time trial. And uh, yeah, didn't Mara Wikudu's winning the road here. But did we see that? The road, uh, the Tour de France, winner of the points classification here. So from in two seasons, he's won the points and the polka dot jersey. That's quite an overhaul here. And let's see how he's done. Winning on stage one, Benny, Benny, Benny. Winning on stage 10 as well. Winning on stage 15, this is grandissimo. Wow. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Oh, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. And uh, yeah, that is remarkable. So three stage victories, five stage victories last season in the Giro, four sta three stage victories here in the Tour de France. This is what we were hoping for. And you can see that his sprinting actually did go up this season. So yeah, he's becoming a very solid rider. Points classification, wore the yellow jersey as well. Three stage victories and also wore the yellow jersey in the Paris Nice as well. So uh, uh, along with that, a stage win he took. So phenomenal season here for Binny, 29 years old. And yeah, this is definitely a season to savor over. 20, 30, 30 years old, still with the Intermarché one to Kruger Bear for two more seasons. And uh, yeah, can he top the remarkable season he had? Last year, I doubt it, to be honest, because he set the bar so high. But Monument Classic is something we're looking for. Are we going to get some more success there? But starting in 2030, and we can see here in the Santa Store, nothing. But wow, Etoile de Bassege winning the first three stages, dominance and the points classification with third. Winning Omnut has news blood. That's incredible. 40th in Trena Adriatico, third on the opening stage. Fifth in uh one day race in Belgium and nowhere in the Ronda. Third in the Skelter Priest, ninth in Amstel Gold, second in uh, Barbantis Pile, and in Paru Bay, unfortunately nowhere, but winning Troboy Leon, that's not a bad result. And then Criterium du Dauphiné, second on the opening stage into Leon, seventh, fourth, yeah, fifth in the overall points classification and eighth in the mountains jersey as well the tour de france second so unfortunately not picking up a jersey but i'm sure he took some victories here second in the first well top 10 in the first five stages three second places there winning a stage though so that's a good result but uh yeah a lot of top fives there that win on stage seven definitely a highlight but second in the points classification unfortunately second in Paris tours as well so um, a lot of seconds there, but at least taking a stage win in the Tour de France. So yeah, Fabio Jakobsen taking the Paris Tours win there. Uh, bad season, bad era to be a sprinter. But there we can see kind of solidifying where he is. Wore the yellow jersey for four days. So that's a good achievement for him. And uh, yeah, ninth in Amstel Gold. Still a pretty good race. You would think that's a race that could suit him. But Omlut Net hit Newsblad. Definitely a strong result considering his pedigree in the Cobble Classic. So he's he's starting to get back into his Cobble Classics uh, campaign. He's He rides a Tom Bonin-esque in a way up there in the Classics, but not really had the success that we wanted. But 2031, 20, 11 victories here. Etoile Bis de Bessage, nothing really apart from top finishes. Two wins in Triano Adriatico, a race he struggled with. And Milan San Remo, ninth. The Limburg Classic, 
first, so that's a good result. Third in Skelda Priest, but uh, the Giro d'Italia is where he went. Fifth in the Mansa jersey, 12th in the points. Did he take a victory? Come on, Binny. You you won five stages here, so you have to do something. Unfortunately, no. Third in the Brussels Classic, winning the road race, not winning his uh, time trial, national time trial, but picking up a uh, points classification there in the Tour de Valloni and winning stage three and stage five. So not bad result there. He then went on to the Tour of Poland and picked up the points classification, winning on stage three and stage six and second in Krakow on stage one. Then he won the Britannia Classic. Good result there from him. And in the Benelux Tour, he picked up stages on stage five and stage seven. So not bad that. His highest tally of wins, fifth in Paris Tours, 11th overall in the world ranking. So very good season to say the least. And uh, yeah, what more can we say? In the Evolution, he stayed the same. Yeah, in terms of his career not really any great results here other than a win in the Giro but yeah not a great season in some respects for him but yeah you would hope for more third in Skelda Priest something he's he's got a podium with Skelda Priest that's for sure winning the uh, Walter Limburg Classic of obviously a good result but 2032 he's 32 years old here and still with into my shape want to cook a bear until 2033 so really just extending every year five victories 23rd in the rankings and third in the Cadell Evans road race third on the final stage and in the Torino Adriatico second on stage six winning on stage three and winning the points as well well winning one of the one-day races in Belgium, ninth in Milan San Remo, 17th in Paris Bay, second in the Frankfurt Classic. Trobar Leon, he was second, and uh, yeah, he was second to Juan Jose Real. Okay, one of the made-up riders, I guess. Tour de Suisse, nowhere really. Sixth and fifth best results, not winning any of his national championships. He went to the Tour de France, winning the Mountains jersey again here. So, uh, yeah, Binium doing something many people haven't, winning the Masters jersey twice. And third, second on stage six, winning on into Gap. Did the Welters, well, winning on stage two. Not bad result there, but not uh, getting better here. Two stage wins in the Tour de France. And that Masters jersey, one stage in the Welter Espana, ninth in Milan San Remo. So, uh, a good season, I would say, because he got some good results there in some of the one-day races and also picking up three Grand Tour stages and the polka dot jersey. Moving on to 2033, and here we can see Binium has extended to 2035. He's with Intermarché, one to group uh, again. Starting in Africa this time in La Tropical Amisa Bongo, where he won actually his first ever road win at 18 here he won on stage one he won on stage four as well winning overall second in the points classification and then going on to finishing second in the cadell evans great ocean road race and then in the tour de la province six and second before winning the final stage second fifth overall second in the points classification and winning the mouse's jersey so not bad third in Gent webergem and a race he knows pretty well and 10th in skelter priest so dropping it down from before in the four days of dunkirk getting third in the in the points classification second on the final stage into dunkirk third on the opening stage fourth eighth and second so not a bad race for him and second in a minor race trouble leon but whoa what's going on here one, two, three, four, five victories in a row. That is impressive. Also 14 victories. I forgot to add that. Wow, that is some feat here. Winning a lot of impressive wins here. Wow, that is sensational there. Five victories in a row from Binium. But yeah, uh, he went on to the Belgian Tour. Second in the fifth stage. Fourth of roll. Second in the points. Winning his National Road Race jersey again. Tour of Wallonie. Uh, third of roll. But in the uh, Euro Metal Bowl Tour. Second there in the Benelux. Oh, he didn't go to a Grand Tour. He didn't go to a Grand Tour. That's a shame. So he very much targeted all the one-day races here. Another Belgian one-day race win. The Primus classic second in the Paris Bourges. Oh, we're starting to see the decline. 33 years old and there's a decline here. So Bini is declining. That's not great. But yeah, not really any success in terms of the Grand Tours here or the Monuments, but a lot of one-day victories in the minor races. So they are really racking up that win tally here. And uh, yeah, maybe this 
we're getting close to the last hurrah. Anyway, 2034, and we open in UAE Tour. Nothing there other than our fifth place. Tirana Adriatico, fifth place on the opening stage. Milan San Remo, eighth. Winning Ronda van Vlaanderen. Booyah, that's how you do it. Boom. Well done, Vinny. Third in the Ampvan Classic. So he couldn't do that five wins in a row, but still managing to pick up the Runde van Limburg and the Duosto van Hegeland, which is a gravel race as well. But um, yeah, that is quite a feat. Winning the Belgian Tour and the points classification, taking a victory on stage three. So that's where you really won the race. And uh, yeah, winning both overall and the points classification taking another national double so that's a good result from Vinny and maybe are we gonna no we're not gonna see him in the Grand Tour you can see it in Lombardia Paris Tours third so seven victories overall 58 race days 51st in the world but yeah he's stagnated here so he's not declining more so that's good oh he did do the Tour de France I think he crashed out at the Tour de France but nevertheless Ronde van Vlaanderen success that is definitely a huge win for him and the overall at the Belgian Tour I think it's quite big as well considering uh, who Inter Marche Juan de Kruger Bear are uh, winning the double there in terms of points but 2035 and oof this is the last season for Bini end of career and what will he do five victories in his last season Walter Algarve is his first year 11th oh first race 11th uh, nothing in Paris Nice but where are those five victories coming from? Milan San Remo never really won it, but took two stage victories in the Tour of Turkey. I think this is the first time we've seen him in the Tour of Turkey, but taking the points as well. And yeah, second as well on stage six. Nothing in these minor races. Selim Tour winning on stage three, but again, not the high heights we want to see him in winning the road race again went to the tour de france did he win anything judging by the points no second on stage 14 so yeah Benny not doing anything really but winning in the tour de Lan on the opening stage third in the paris bruges and yeah that's kind of it and finishing in the corner the nations there you can see the decline but yeah final season Again, winning the road race. So nice way to finish off as the road race champion for Eritrea. Yeah, who knows what he's going to do after this. Well, that's basically it for Binium's simulated career. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. I certainly did. We saw plenty of victories and jerseys everywhere. Who thought he would have won the polka dot jersey and the green jersey and the points jersey in the Giro. So overall, a truly remarkable career, even wearing the yellow jersey on some occasions. But we didn't really see him going into the World Championships. But I think that is more a critique of the game that Eritrea haven't been put in as one of the national team. So don't be too lighthearted about that. But nevertheless... If you want to see more career simulations like this, why not check out the one I did of Primus Roglic? And of course, if you want to see how Binium fared in uh, Paru Bay, check that out as well. But with that, make sure to comment down below what you think Binium will do in his career. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you around.